Johnny Deep laughed and also the crowd was shocked when Ron Schneider said he never had an undergrad but he has but he has a uh, a master's degree guys take a listen to this and could you briefly describe your educational background since high school I have a master's degree in computer science do you have an undergraduate degree I do not and can you explain to the jury why not? See how Johnny Deep was um, surprised? Like, uh, when I was a kid, see, uh, there was surprised. a lot of publicity about me because uh, like, I was a professor at NYU. When I was 14, um, NYU actually offered me to go into their freshman class when I was 14, but I decided that I wanted to experience the social aspect of high school. So I turned them down, but by the time I got to college, uh, they skipped me from undergraduate to graduate. So when did you receive your master's degree from Syracuse University? Surprise. It wasn't until 2008, actually. And and why why wasn't it until 2008? So um, because of my previous background while I was at Syracuse, um, including I, I did work at MIT um, in the artificial intelligence lab for uh, the, the two founders of artificial intelligence, Patrick Winston and um, Marvin Minsky. Um, I was immediately lured to industry even while I was in graduate school and eventually they offer you enough money where you have to take them up on it. So what so when you were lured away from Syracuse Syracuse University, University uh, what did you do? <laughs> I worked at Bell Labs um, on something called the Unix operating system. Um, Unix is uh, an operating system which is the core of the computer what makes everything work um, Microsoft Windows is an operating system Mac OS is an operating system you may have heard of Linux which is um, you know Unix was the predecessor to Linux so I worked on the kernel of the Unix operating system at Bell Labs and, and when was that approximately what year uh, 1986 you, you, you love and, it. and how long did you work at Bell Labs um, a couple of years and what did you do after Bell Labs after that um, I was lured away to uh, IBM. So I worked at IBM on their version of the Unix operating system, which was called AIX. Also working on the kernel and managing other programmers working on the kernel. And can you just briefly explain what the kernel is? Right, the kernel is the center of the operating system. So it actually controls the piece of software that controls the whole computer. So it gets down to the bit level where it's uh, actually really, everything that goes on the computer has to go through the kernel. And what did you do after IBM? Um, after IBM, uh, I founded a startup company. What was the name of that startup company? It was called Secure Online Systems. And what did Secure Online Systems do? It was a company that uh, wrote software for mainframe computers running the various versions of the Unix operating system. And were there any other investors in Secure Online Systems, Inc.? Yeah. Um, my business partner in that was Sylvester Stallone. And what, what eventually happened to Secure Online Systems? Well, it was, um, it was as I said, a, a software product that ran on mainframe computers running Unix. Um, and we actually completed the product and it ran very well. But mainframes running Unix kind of ceased to exist back then. So we had to shut it down. So what... Guys, you can see how he was loving. I think his lawyer told him, like, hey... This, this guy has uh, a master's degree, but we don't get it. To be honest, this is my first time seeing somebody with a master's degree and without an undergraduate degree. I have never heard of that in my lifetime. That was really hilarious, man. Alright, thanks everyone for, for tuning to this and watching this.